Machine learning is uh, uniquely capable of making sense out of these massive data collections, and really in ways that humans cannot. Here at the Center for Computational Biology, we develop machine learning approaches that extract knowledge from biomedical data sets, addressing questions ranging from decoding the human genome to mapping pathways across cells and identifying processes underlying human diseases. In order to be able to understand the data we are ourselves producing, we are dependent on collaborations like the one uh, with the Institute of Computational Biology. When we work hand in hand, computational biologists can really tailor algorithms in order to identify the molecular patterns that are most important for the experimental biologist. We engage in the development of software tools and computational methods that we believe will undergird a lot of scientific progress in the coming decades. The Center for Computational Biology is a research center what we do is to develop uh, theory and models for understanding biological phenomena and developing software tools for understanding the very large data sets that come out of modern ways of, of probing biology. So here at the center, we have research groups that work in genomics, in systems biology, in biophysics of both the cell and of molecular biophysics, and in development of organisms. The Flatiron Genomics Group uses deep learning and supervised machine learning approaches to understand genetic and molecular basis of human health and disease. We work on multiple levels of resolution, from the genetic architecture of disease, like interpreting regulatory variants in autism and heart disease, to mapping gene networks in neurons vulnerable to Alzheimer's or in kidney cells of COVID-19 patients. Our approaches are data-driven, which enables unbiased generation of accurate predictions from large compendia of genomics and functional omics data to generate hypotheses, drive experiments, and analyze clinical data sets. We develop state-of-the-art computational approaches that generate predictions that provide insight beyond existing biological knowledge. These hypotheses directly drive experiments and are used to interpret clinical data. For example, our approaches can predict the impact of any mutation in the genome at the biochemical, regulatory, and clinical level. One of the key missions of the Flatiron Institutes is developing data-driven computational approaches uh, and then making them available to scientists worldwide. HumanBase is a cloud-based software system developed here at CCB, uh, which uses machine learning to comb through thousands of genomic experiments and make data-driven predictions to answer a host of biological questions, from identifying genes associated with uh, disease in specific tissues, exploring tissue-specific pathway maps, to predicting the transcriptional and post-transcriptional impact of any mutation in the human genome. And these are really driven by the wealth of genomic data. The system is making inferences from the data and not just returning current knowledge. So far, human base is being used by thousands of scientists worldwide to study lots of diseases like Alzheimer's, heart disease, autism, uh, and kidney disease, to name a few. We're trying to understand why certain neurons uh, in the brain are dying very early on in Alzheimer's disease. When we started to collaborate with the Transkaya lab using networks, this allowed us to uh, really take a very big picture view of vulnerable neurons to understand at the systems level how these neurons are different from resistant neurons. There's really been one failure after another for clinical trials in Alzheimer's disease. So we thought that it was absolutely crucial to have a completely unbiased data-driven uh, approach we actually identified many novel genes, completely unknown, never connected before to Alzheimer's disease. And we can now start to understand which are the genes that are actually driving vulnerability. And these genes could probably be great therapeutic targets in order to halt uh, neurodegeneration Alzheimer's. I work in the Department of Medical Genetics where we have a large data set of a lot of uh, full genome sequences with patients with clear clinical indications and yet we cannot find the association to disease. So we hope that using the subset of those that we know how they create the disease as a training set and using the uh, potential of machine learning, we can identify novel disease causing mutations. 
this work uh, will not only have diagnostic and prognostic significance, but will ultimately also improve our understanding of cancer in terms of mechanisms and biology on, on uh, the background of which it occurs. What I hope is that the work that we do here at the center will provide the software tools, the theoretical models for understanding very complex biological systems. And in that way, understand how all this is actually working. How are organisms developing? How does human disease progress? How do we prevent it? All these kind of very basic human problems.